Hebrew 10.23, Let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, for he who promised is faithful. There are some important words we need to understand from John chapter 21 verses 17 to 19. Love. Simon son of John, do you love me? You know that I love you. Reconciliation or restoration. Feed my sheep. Jesus helped Peter regain his destined identity as fisher of men. Commitment. Stretch out your hand, lead you where you do not want to go, even where there are sufferings and misery. Purpose. Jesus said this to indicate the kind of death by which Peter would glorify God. The reason to follow Jesus. Re-invitation. Then he said to him, Follow me. God's love makes way for reconciliation, which precedes commitment, which leads to purpose. These are all the things we are meant to experience when we accept Jesus' invitation to us to follow him. When one's heart is anchored, one's willingness to contribute emerges. One's desire to strive grows stronger. One's desire to achieve the goal remains strong. Understanding leads to comprehension, but only faith leads to action. Our hands will only be stretched out even to places we don't want to go, if our heart is anchored to the one in whom we have faith. How do you apply in real life as a form of commitment in following Jesus? 1. Asking questions, not questioning. 2. Calculating chances, not being calculative. 3. Surrendering, not giving up. Asking questions. God, when will I be able to recover? Questioning. God, why did this happen to me? Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 11. He has made everything appropriate in its time. Beautiful or appropriate comes from the word, yape, in Hebrew. Calculating chances, I fight because I see the possibility to recover. Being calculative, I have fought in such a way that the outcome should be. If not, then. Surrendering, whatever happens, I will persist, pray, and try, to ask for what I wish for. But even if the outcome is not what I has hoped for, my heart will remain attached to you. Giving up, because my circumstances did not change as quickly as I expected, I decided to stop praying and try. I decided to quit following Jesus. Pray like written in Matthew chapter 26 verse 39. My Father, if it is possible, let this cup of suffering be taken away from me. Yet I want your will to be done, not mine. Amen.